German Chancellor Angela Merkel addresses Donald Trump in Quebec. Photo, app the Europe editor of BuzzFeed News, Alberto Nardelli, reported that during talks at the G7 Trump had read a list of his grievances, country by country, it was basically a live performance of his Twitter feed, Trump's treatment of American allies, and in particular his belligerence over trade, may serve him well among his political base, which remains mistrustful of broad trade treaties. But his advocacy on behalf of Russia is baffling many senior figures, even some in his own party. Identity politics is raging in the U.S. Photo, AP, Putin's Russia invaded its neighbors, violated our sovereignty by undermining elections, and attacks dissidents abroad, tweeted the former Democratic Vice President Joe Biden tweeted. Yet our president wants to reward him with a seat at the table while alienating our closest Democratic allies. It makes no sense. In response Steve Schmidt, the Republican strategist who ran John McCain's presidential campaign, shot back, it does if you consider the unthinkable. If he behaves like a Russian asset maybe it's because he is one, loading the suggestion that Trump might be acting in the interests of Russia rather than the United States has become one of the weirder marks of this very weird presidency. It is a notion that keeps arising not only because of the ongoing investigation into Russia's interference in the 2016 election, but because it is one of the only ways to make consistent sense of what passes for Trump's foreign policy. Since taking office Trump has taken every opportunity to undermine the international mechanisms that the United States forged in the wake of World War II. These are Russian foreign policy objectives, but not ones put forward by either Democratic or Republican parties, worst day for U.S. foreign policy since the invasion of Iraq. For sure, tweeted the prominent foreign policy observer David Rothkopf. Worst for the Western alliance since middle of World War II. Probably, this chaos is now the backdrop to Trump's talks with Kim on Tuesday. Trump will know about Kim's intentions, he says. Photo, app while Trump's Twitter taunting of Kim in the early months of his presidency unnerved many observers, many others believe his hard line led to these talks and a potentially great opportunity for peace. But while other presidents have dedicated weeks or even months to painstaking preparation for negotiations of this kind, Trump has dismissed the need for that sort of homework. Asked by a reporter at a press conference as he left the G7 how long it would take him to figure out if Kim is serious about the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, Trump replied with typical bluster, that's a good question. How long will it take? I think within the first minute I'll know, how, asked the reporter, just my touch, my feel. That's what I do, after Trump's performance in Canada, it is hardly a response that inspires confidence.